New Mexico has made, become the seventh state to make video game competitions an official varsity sport. NBC 10's DZ correspondent Anna Wernicke reports that esports games gamers believe that they're headed for the big time, including major college teams, college scholarships, and of course, a chance to go pro. High school senior Benjamin Malik's after school routine is like many students. Getting the team together and going to practice. But this team doesn't compete on the field, they compete on screen. There are some online tournaments, there are some tournaments that we'll go to. Eight states have recognized competitive video game playing, also known as esports, as an official high school varsity sport. But Malik's high school in Maryland is not one of them. So instead, he comes here to the game gym. A private gaming club where students can compete and hire a private coach like Samuel Tebby. Getting down just the nitty gritty of each game, getting, you know, the X's and O's. Players say esports opens the door for more students to participate because there are fewer physical requirements. You don't need to be 6'8 to play video games. You could be male, female, short, tall. Founder of the game gym, Josh Hapkins, says he expects every high school will log on to esports in the next three to five years. But first, high schools will have to convince some of esports' toughest critics, mom and dad. I hope that parents um, treat video gaming a little bit more as an opportunity to learn. Sports management professor Lisa Narati agrees. She says especially if high schools require esports players to maintain good grades to stay on the team. So they're going to be a more well-rounded individual by joining an esport team. And esports may even open the doors for students after high school. Right now more than 30 U.S. colleges and universities offer scholarships for gamers. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.